We are about to have a super cozy day here in the Yarn Dungeon. I have one of my favorite sweaters on, a bunch of blankets that are just piled up on my couch, some of my chairs, pumpkin spice latte with a little macadamia nut milk in it, and a brand new yarn line to chat about. Get ready for me to say cozy so many times today. If anybody would like to keep track, feel free to do that. It's just gonna happen. It's inevitable because that is the name of this yarn line. This is a collaboration with Eddie Bauer. When I saw that they were going to collaborate, I was really interested because when I think of this company, I think of earth tone, sleepy time type of colors. There are two different lines, or not lines, there's two different weights of yarn. In this one line, there is a medium number four weight and also a blanket weight yarn. I am so, so happy that they decided to go with a big, chunky, bulky yarn as well as something that you can make a sweater with. Well, I mean, technically you could make a sweater with this as well, but having a thick, warm crocheted or knit blanket wrapped up in all of these cozy colors from the medium number four weight let's start with my favorite color and this one is called carbon the entire line is called camp cozy i very much enjoy the like gray and black bits in this it is a hundred percent recycled acrylic which normally this is a hit or miss for me sometimes it works really well other times it leaves like a weird feeling or like residue on my fingers with after I've been working up with it for a while. This one so far, just like first feeling, seems to be relatively soft. I'm not gonna say that it's the softest, but it does have a little bit of fluffy to it and I could easily work up with this. Like nothing is jumping out to me immediately as like a red flag that I wouldn't wanna work with this. Okay, this with this. Yeah, I love this color. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, and 229 yards in one skein. Are you machine washable? Yes, this is machine washable, which is fantastic. Don't iron it, don't throw it in the dryer, and don't bleach it. Lay flat to dry. Next up, we have the color gray. So a lot of them are just plain, true to the color type of names. There's not anything like super elaborate or, you know, like themed names. It's just pretty much exactly what the color is. That's the name of it in Cozy Camp. This one is called Paprika. They did an incredible job of making every single color work with every single color. So like this paprika, even though it's kind of a strong color in comparison to some of the other colors that are in here, like it would work with this gray, with the carbon, all three of them together. I love the fact that it's all gonna be interchangeable. Next up is Time. Loving the mossy type of green colors in here. The last one in this line that I chose, this like there's more, but these were my favorites, is Scarlet. And yes, I was thinking Scarlet with Carbon. I want this sweater like today. Good thing I have my Addy knitting machine. Hopefully it works up well on this. Like that was my goal for today. I was gonna bust out my knitting machine, like just work up a beanie. And then if that works really well, maybe I'll make a sweater or something with it. Cause like, oh my gosh. So all five colors that I chose together, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this entire line. Now for the blanket yarn, I'm gonna start with my favorite color out of this again, which is Scarlet. So they do have the same names from one weight to the other. So we have Scarlet. First impressions of this, so freaking soft. I know that blanket yarn is supposed to be incredibly soft, but just grabbing this, it is next level soft. 24 yards in this, 200 grams, jumbo number seven, suggesting a 15 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, I was planning on using a 20, but I will bust out my 15 because maybe the stitches will look better together. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. With my hair, 
and my outfit. Like, I want a blanket of this now, too. So I want a cardigan, a jumper, and a blanket immediately. Like, oh, I just love this entire line so far without even working it up. 100% recycled polyester, again, for the entire thing. And this weight of yarn is called Fireside Plush, which doesn't that just conjure up a super cozy blanket? Like, I mean, I know there's other things that I could use this for, but it's just screaming to be turned into a blanket. Okay, so we have Scarlet. Next we have Carbon. Again, incredibly soft, super warm. Okay, never mind. This one is a little different. This one is called Evergreen. Those two, that's what I was thinking, mossy style type of blanket. Maybe like a big half double crochet type of blanket. I need to think on that a little bit more. And the last color that I got was the gray. So these four all together, I feel like I could even just start making this blanket and start with one color roll into the next, like in no real rhyme or reason, just kind of like pick the colors and go with it. And it would look amazing. 15 millimeter crochet hook. I'm gonna use the one that they suggested and just work up a quick little half double crochet swatch. I use that stitch quite often. So normally I can tell if I'm going to like a yarn or not by testing that stitch out. The yarn, it feels like butter. Like this is so enjoyable to work up. I don't want to stop working with it. Like this is going to be whatever I decide to turn this into. It's going to be such a fun project. Just even my foundation row. Bulky, squishy. Yeah, this is screaming. Please make me a blanket. That's what I must be. Without even getting into the other colors, I'm a big fan of this. Definitely going to purchase more. Maybe even make some pillows too. For this one, it is suggesting a six millimeter crochet hook, which it does seem to be on the thick side for a medium number four yarn. So I am gonna grab that one. And let's start with the Scarlet, might as well. How is the yarn carnage gonna be? Not too bad, if this is actually the end. Can I find the end? Okay, right there. Ah, not terrible for a center pole. I would still probably get a yarn bowl to put this in as I'm working it up. Had to grab my pumpkin spice latte hook to go with it. Again, I'm just gonna do a half double crochet. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know that I would need this to be a six millimeter. It has a lot of stretch to it. I think if I were to make a jumper with this, I would want to bump it down to a 5.5, honestly, maybe even a five. However, I could get projects done a lot quicker if I use the six. And this doesn't look too bad. Okay, let me just finish a couple rows here. The stitches, they are rather far apart. Like I don't think it needs to be a six. Let's try a five. Let's jump all the way down to a five. See if I can work that up. This already feels a little bit better to me. I don't feel like it's going to fall off or anything or like risk it slipping off of my hook. Personally, I like the look of that a little bit better. I like the stitches closer together, not as much space between them. So for this one, I think I'm gonna stick with a five millimeter. Let's see how this one works on the knitting machine because I'm thinking if it works well, this is probably gonna be a beanie making type of yarn for me. Very happy with how the beanie turned out. The yarn in and of itself on the knitting machine seemed to work really well too. It didn't get snagged, it didn't split, no drop stitches, anything like that. It didn't have to pay attention to it too much, only had to look down every once in a while to see where my row count was at to make sure I was making it the right length. The only negative part is that it was 
way more rough than I was expecting. So when I was holding it on my adding machine, like holding the working strand, my skin got fatigued pretty quickly. So that part I had to let go of. And luckily, like I said, it worked well on there. So I didn't have to guide the yarn at all. Most of the time I don't need to do that. It's kind of just a habit because I do have some particular yarn that I do have to help but when it works well it just does its thing and I don't have to do that it just fits right through the guide this is definitely gonna be a staple hat for me the plush yarn though most definitely I'm going to grab more of this in order to finish my blanket I'm gonna get these three colors and just do a half double crochet throw I like the green too or what is it called again evergreen I like that but for the color combo because I'm gonna I put this in my movie room these three go together perfectly for that this was fun to work with this was so enjoyable I love how soft it is big fluffy cozy like I'm excited to work this project up so originally the fireside plush is $9.99 a skein right now it's $7.49 and all of the colors that they have are available they go together beautifully you can make blankets throws rugs, ooh, maybe a big, thick, chunky scarf. The Cozy Camp originally is $5.99 each, and right now is $4.49. There are 10 different colors. The ones that I have here, how many did I end up getting again? I ended up getting five. Okay, so for me, that's pretty good. There is a little blurb about the Cozy Camp yarn. It's 100% recycled yarn that you can use in a wide range of projects. You can make cardigan, oversized sweaters, yes. Overalls and dresses for spring and autumn. It's so flexible that you could also make some home decorations, cushions, chair covers, anything else you can imagine. The plush one. Let's see if there's a blurb about that. Fireside plush yarn is a chenille style type of yarn, perfect for home decor projects, blankets, crochet baskets, it's super bulky weight, stitches up quickly, makes it a great choice for blankets, economical and eco-friendly. It's 100% recycled, big ball size for great large projects. Available in breathtaking custom colors. I will agree. All right, ghouls. So that's it for me today in our epic cozy adventure. I will definitely keep you updated on my blanket. I can see this getting finished sooner rather than later because it's just fun. Like I want to work it up right this second and I probably will get started on it right now. I already have a row done with the red, so might as well just keep working on that. For now though, that is it. So have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.